This week on Empire News, we take a look at how our weather looks at Sick News and Baking Ideas for Valentine. Get your local tips on creating awesome meals to go. And recap what's going on in the Empire Land. Empire, Empire News, News starts, starts now. Starts now. Welcome to the second installment of the Empire News. I'm Dulce Puga. And I'm Mario Calderon. We'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel. Please subscribe to be notified when our next segment is published. We would like to start this broadcast with the Empire News. The girls' soccer season has started. If you are wanting to play, please get your physicals and sports packets as soon as possible. Girls' softball has now started. For those of you who are playing, please check that second Empire Google Classroom for more information, arrival times, and procedures. Here is some yearbook information for you. Senior quotes are due by February 15th. You can submit your quote on the Google Classroom on the Empire News. Baby pictures can be submitted until the 19th of this month. And remember, you can always check the Aztec Empire Google Classroom for important school updates and information. That concludes any school news for the week. Let's take a look at the weather for our Valentine's Day week coming up. This is the weather for Farmersville, California, and I'll be showing you pictures throughout the week. It looks like it will remain mostly cloudy today, with 59 degrees being the highest temperature that Farmersville, Visalia, and Exeter will be reaching today. For the weekend, it seems like we'll be having light showers on Saturday and some sun on Sunday. And for next week, we'll be staying mostly within the 60s, with the exception of Monday only reaching 58. And for the colder temperatures, we'll be staying mostly within the low 40s, with Tuesday and Wednesday reaching the higher 30s. It also looks like the majority of the week will be cloudy or partly cloudy, with the exception of Wednesday and Thursday being sunny. There might be a chance of rain on the weekend, so you might want to take an umbrella if you're planning to go out and celebrate Valentine's Day. We have two videos from our students showing us how to cook an easy go pizza and another one showing us a nice chili and meat dish. Hopefully you take notes and give them a try. Hola, mi nombre es Madeline y hoy estaré haciendo un video de cocina con la ayuda de mi mamá. El platillo que prepararé hoy con la ayuda de mi mamá se llama carne con chile colorado y nopales acompañado con arroz blanco. Los ingredientes los dejaré por aquí. Lo primero que haremos será poner los nopales en una olla con agua a fuego bajo. Esto hará que los nopales se vuelvan más blanditos. Mientras los nopales se cocen, agarraremos los chiles y los partiremos de la parte de arriba. Meteremos el dedo índice y sacaremos sus semillas. Después colocaremos los chiles en una olla con agua a fuego bajo. Mientras los chiles y los nopales se cocen, cortaremos la carne en pequeños trozos. Una vez la carne cortada, la colocaremos en el sartén a fuego bajo. Coloca tres pedacitos de ajo ya que esto le dará sabor a la carne. Después agarraremos otros ajos y los partiremos. Es importante que retires la cáscara. Después cortaremos en pequeños trozos. Ahora colocaremos cebolla, cilantro y ajo en la licuadora. Ahora sacaremos los chiles de la olla y los pondremos en la licuadora para licuarlos y hacer el chile colorado. Una vez los chiles dentro de la licuadora colocaremos 3 cucharas de nor de pollo. Esto le dará más sabor al chile. Déjalo licuar por 5 minutos. Mientras el chile se licúa, agarraremos la olla de nopales con un trapo o con un guante de cocina y los echaremos en un plato o cualquier contenedor que tengas. Después de lavarlos, los echaremos a la carne. Es importante que la meva sea que esto evitará que se pegue al sartén. Ahora es momento para el arroz. Colocarás una cucharada de mantequilla y esperarás a que se disuelva. Después colocarás el arroz. Moverás hasta que el arroz quede algo frito. Ahora que el arroz está completamente frito, colocarás 3 cucharas de nor de pollo. 
Luego colocarás 5 tazas de agua y dejarás reposar por 40 minutos. Ahora colocaremos el chile en este cubierto y vaciarás todo el jugo del chile. Es importante que hagas esto ya que a veces el chile o la salsa suele dejar cáscara. Y esto evita que caiga la comida, ya que esté terminado se verá algo así. No me tomó tiempo enseñar el arroz ya que mi teléfono se quedó sin pila. Después de tener todo preparado, ahora solo queda disfrutar. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy non-bread pizza. What you will need is some non-round bread, some ragu tomato sauce, and the cheese of your liking. Before you start cooking, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. First, you want to spread some tomato sauce on your bread. Then you want to sprinkle some cheese of your liking. I put a Mexican style blend and some Parmesan cheese. Then you're going to put the toppings of your liking. I just put some bacon. Then you are going to put it into a baking tray and put it in the oven and leave it there for 8 to 10 minutes or until it's as golden and crispy as you want it to be. And this is how it's gonna look once it's done. Then just take it out and enjoy it. We're currently working on videos that highlight our sports teams. However, in the meantime, enjoy these baking videos that can help in preparing a fun and festive holiday snack just in time for your Valentine's Day. So today we're baking cake pops. The sprinkles, popsicle sticks, the frosting, and cookies for decoration. Pretzels, and a piping bag. And we're gonna pour our chocolate in a glass bowl. Now, now we're putting the cake in the oven. Okay. And now we're gonna let it cool. Just melted the frosting for the cake pops and for the Valentine's Day theme hearts. Yes. Ta-da! It came out so good. Let's just add some. Look at it, look at it. That made it so much better. I don't, I don't see the problem. They look like the chef made it. I don't. I do not see the problem. Ooh, yes, you do. <laughs> see? A little, a little kindness. Chef's kiss. Twist it. <laughs> you better add that. And this is the final result. Welcome back to the baking segment. I'm Viviana Medina and today we are going to make Valentine's Day cookies. You're going to need three cups of flour, three four teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter, one egg, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of milk, and powdered sugar. So before we start baking, you want to preheat your oven to 375. Um, we are going to take one cup of sugar and a cup of softened butter. And so now what you want to do is mix it. Okay guys, so I am back from mixing them together. Now I am going to add flour and the salt and baking powder together. So we're going to like slowly just add the flour to this mixture and I'm going to mix it with a baking spatula. 
Okay, so now that we mixed this together and kneaded it, we are going to wrap it in saran wrap and refrigerate it for two hours. I am now going to roll out the dough with powdered sugar. And now I, what I'm going to do is cut them into three rectangles. And for one of them, cut a smaller one in the middle. You'll see later on why. Put them in the oven for 15 minutes. I think I just burnt them. Anyways, what I'm basically doing here is layering the cookies um, and using royal icing as my glue. And in the center, I'm putting mini M&Ms with a little note inside. So when they open it up, it says, um, I don't know, something. And so now I'm just putting royal icing on top of the cookie and trying to form like an envelope kind of like you know little design and I'm shaking it so like the royal icing fills in and now I'm making the envelope thing here and using a little heart sprinkle as a seal really oh okay. my gosh oh yeah yeah that's what I'm talking about <laughs> Um, so basically this is how they turned out. I'm sorry if the footage is a little, a little whack, but you know, thank you for watching and see you soon.